Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel. Oh, January guys, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very January right now. Oh, it's an effort, but you know what? Sometimes an effort is worth it. And in this case, I'm gonna make you make an effort for breakfast. Uh, so I don't know if you know yet, but we are celebrating this month and next month, we're celebrating Cupcake Gemma's 10th birthday, which was actually in November last year, but listen, let's not dwell on it. We had all sorts of things going on like Christmas and life. So we're gonna be celebrating in February and all throughout the next couple of months, we're gonna be rebooting old videos uh, from the channel. This one is a pancake recipe. Now obviously there's a few pancake recipes on the channel, um, but when I was looking back through my old repertoire, the ricotta pancake recipe is one of my favorites, but actually, ricotta is not something you just have in the fridge all the time. However, all the ingredients for this recipe probably are. So I just wanted to make a really, well, give you my recipe for really great fluffy pancakes. Um, this is something I've been doing for a long time, but I've tinkered with it over the years. And this is my best version of fluffy pancakes. They're really delicious, lovely and light, and so good with just absolutely drowning in maple syrup and butter. I'm gonna start by separating my eggs because I found that a bit of Air incorporated via the egg whites actually really helps to make your pancakes as light as possible. So I have one large free range egg here. I'm gonna separate that, put the white in one bowl and the yolk in the other. And now I have 400 milliliters of whole milk, which I'll pour in as well. And for a bit of flavor, a teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract. And then just using a whisk to stir that really well until it's all completely combined. And then I've got 60 grams of cooled melted butter. I'm just gonna whisk that in, pouring in slowly, but whisking quickly. Now I've got my dry ingredients now. I'm gonna put them through a sieve just to make it a little bit lighter. So I've got 280 grams of plain flour and I'm going to add 30 grams of sugar. You can add a little bit more, but I found I don't really like my pancakes to be sweet because I just smother them in maple syrup and I think that's fine. Um, but it, I'd say anywhere between 20 and 60 grams of sugar, depending on how sweet your tooth is. And then I have a half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and a half teaspoon of salt. And then the real lift is gonna, well, apart from with the egg whites, the real lift is gonna come from four teaspoons of baking powder. And um, once it's all gone through the sieve, you just need to briefly bring that together with your whisk or with a spatula, but you don't want to over mix it once the flour's in. Um, and if it's a little bit lumpy, that's totally okay, but you just don't want to over mix it. Once that's done, you need to start preheating your pan. So I'm gonna set my pan on a medium heat. Then you need to whip up your egg whites. So I'm using a hand mixer for this on a medium speed, just for a couple of minutes until the egg whites reach stiff peak consistency. And then using a metal spoon or a spatula, you need to fold those egg whites gently into the rest of your batter. Right, that's my batter all ready. And my pan is nice and hot now, but again, it's on a low medium heat. You don't want to annihilate these pancakes once they go on. And I've also got some melted butter here and I've just got like a pastry brush. I'm just going to start by preparing my pan. And then I'm just using a quarter cup measure to scoop out my batter and then gently plop it onto my hot frying pan. I'm gonna do three in this pan, but you could do one big one if you fancied. And then keeping it on that low steady heat, just cook those for three or four minutes on each side. And then once they've had three minutes on both sides, take them off the heat and stack them up. And then just keep cooking until you've got enough pancakes. Right, well, I've cooked enough for myself, um, <laughs> but I'll get to the rest of the team later. But I've got myself some little pats of butter and I'm gonna just put them in between each one so that it's all melty inside. Um, because frankly, you can't have too much butter, in my opinion. I've got some maple syrup. Uh, let's put some more butter on top. Why not? You know, life's short and 
cholesterol levels at this point in my life. Probably should be noted, but you know, it's the beginning of the year. We start as you mean to go on. Right, got my maple syrup. And I'm going to literally smother it. Let's see. Oh, this is good stuff. Yeah. I mean, these pancakes are literally swimming in maple syrup, and that is totally how I like it. Because, you know, it's a bit like when you put vinegar on fish and chips. It kind of just disappears. And then you put more on. Why, why not just start with loads? And then you won't be disappointed halfway through. Now, this is a bit like, I feel like I'm in America, in a diner, um, having a very indulgent, whoop, a very indulgent breakfast. They're really, really soft and really squishy. Mm. Mm. They're so light and fluffy. I mean, absolutely what a pancake should be like. Just really, you, you, you might, might have been a bit worried about the whole baking powder situation. Four teaspoons does sound like a lot. And sometimes with me, put too much baking powder or bicarbonate of soda in something, you can really taste it. But it's just enough to give it all that rise, but without making it taste really soapy and horrible. Just salty enough, just sweet enough. I've adjusted the sweetness with a gallon of maple syrup. So what I like to do, obviously this is quite a lot for me. So I will be sharing and I've got enough batter in my bowl to make probably another 10 more. I, I reckon you can get between 16 and 20 pancakes out of this batch of batter, depending on how big your pancakes are. So it's perfect for if you've got friends around staying and you want to have a bit more of an indulgent or if you've got a big family. But if you are just you, or just you and someone else, then what I like to do is cook all the pancakes. It does take a little while, but cook them all up, put them in a Tupperware, and then just put them into the toaster for literally 30 seconds just to heat them through. And it's just like they were just made. Um, so don't worry if you're having loads of leftover batter because, you know, there's, where there's a will, there's a way. You can keep them, just like so many other things. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, make sure if you're a big pancake fan, you do check out the original ricotta pancake video from way back when. Um, there's also other pancake recipes on the channel, so make sure you check that out. And celebrating Cupcake Gemma is 10. I mean, obviously I'm more than that. I'm, I'm actually quite old now, I'm nearly 45, <laughs> but the channel, is 10 and we've done so many wonderful things over the last 10 years and we want to celebrate with you. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled for more rebooted videos from old, olden days. If you're not yet a member of the Bake Club over on Patreon, check that out because there's still time to sign up before our live Bake Along at the end of January. Uh, we'll be doing a Bake Along live just for Bake Club members. So for this live Bake Along, you're gonna get the chance to vote for what recipe it is. So uh, yeah, we're gonna need your help. So please join us. And it's also a really great way of supporting the channel. We're super grateful to everyone who does that. I'm gonna have to say goodbye for now, um, but I will see you next time for another delicious recipe. Bye. Back, 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 back.